Hey guys, welcome back to part two on our zombie only run on Immortal Empires. If you guys remember from the last episode, I was getting beat around by Nurgle and his pox makers. Nobody else has really given us any trouble. Uh, the Skaven have kind of been a thorn in our side here and there. They keep coming and going. I'm sure they've got an, uh, an under city somewhere around here. Maybe Nobly Gorge. I keep seeing them coming from the west or the east here. So... I'm not really sure what's going on with them, but right now, the only people that we have to worry about is uh, is Nurgle's pox makers. Unfortunately, Nurgle has been kind of wreaking havoc on the ogres. So we've started diplomatic relations with them. They haven't helped us one bit. They haven't helped themselves one bit. I think they've still got a little bit of territory over, over here in this province. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty much us against Nurgle's world right now. And I was just about to try to maybe recruit another Banshee if I'm able to. Looks like I am. Guess I don't really know which one would be the best. Let's see what they've got. What does Strider do? I, I, I always forget every time I look at it. Strider, speed and combat penalties caused by terrain are ignored by this unit. That might be good. Winds of Magic Power Reserve, plus one per turn. Winds of Magic Power Reserve, capacity plus eight, would be kind of nice. Tactician, I am learning from the comments. I always thought that the undead weren't really affected by leadership uh, because they don't really have, they don't take morale penalties. But what was pointed out to me in the comments is that leadership affects what, like how fast the undead decay. So I'm starting to realize that I have always messed up by not really focusing on leadership i know that's not, that should be the main focus but it's definitely something to take into account especially if i'm going to do a wars of attrition where i just have blobs of zombies trying to hold out as long as possible while lowering the the enemy's numbers so that might be worth taking i think i think i actually might take that but before we put her into an army i was actually hoping to start trying to assassinate some more of their heroes unfortunately i'm not going to be able to do it to these guys because my success rate would be is going to be too low they're level 20 23s and 20s i just i won't be able to roll through those we can get rid of, we can get rid of chant though we can at least try Oh, can I not uh, take that turn yet? <laughs> what part of my turn am I on right now? Let's assign our skill points right quickly. Okay, so Emmeline Hellstein, she has four points that we can dump. Assassinate, specialist, assassinate, and I think specialist again. I'm actually really liking the block army feature. That has been pretty useful for us so far. Let's see. Doesn't look like we have any other points that we can we can mess around with right now. Lich master. No. Roving. Now we do have some movement left. So we're gonna throw Helmet Gorst and Phoenix Von Sinkler over at this guy. You will be punished. Try to get them in range so we can get reinforcements. And I actually do not know how reinforcements work when you're controlling the battle. I saw some comments saying that they would like to watch me actually control the battle. So I'm going to start doing that. Just know that this is going to cost us the game because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But here we go. Come on, Gorst. Let's get on this dude. So we should have a Pyrrhic victory if I auto resolve. But we're going to do it. We're going in. And I'm going to cut this out because on my on my hard drive here, the this shit loads so slow. All right. And here we go. We have our giant wall of undead. Let's see how many units we've got here. I don't like the fact that they've got this higher ground and we're going to have to trek up to get to them. So I'm assuming their missile units probably get advantages for being on the higher ground. Hmm. Let's see here. I also cannot 
for the life of me remember how to actually control this shit. Can I... There we go. There we go. Let's throw them into two separate just fucking fat walls of zombies. We're going to keep our leaders back here. Who do we have? We've got Gorst and we've got Oswald. So we're going to have them. We're going to have them running kind of in tandem with these guys. We don't want them rushing in, but we also don't want them staying too far behind. That way they can, they can get their leadership auras. I wonder if it would be a good idea to throw this guy over with these regiments here. We'll keep Gorst back here to start slinging spells. What what does channel magic do? I have never seen that before. Let's click it. Why not? See what it does. Oh, it kind of looks like I just... Oh, no. What does that do? Hey, <laughs> magic, the winds evade you. Oh, no. Why did I do that? I had reserves. I had magic reserves. That might have cost us the fight. Who knows? And then I've got... Oh, these guys over here? Yeah, we're going to we're gonna deploy them with these guys here, too. Oh, now, my problem is, is I don't remember how to, to send in my reinforcements. Reinforcement arrival time. Okay, that, that'll be a minute into the fight. Okay. So, I guess... I kind of, I kind of think we're ready. Then again, hold up. I have Vanguard deployment, don't I? For my zombies? So I'm assuming that I can deploy them anywhere outside of their their controlled territory. That's that's interesting. At the same time, I don't think I'm really gonna utilize that. And uh numbers are not looking good for us right now. Also, what what are what does that mean? They have like the uh the exclamation points above their heads. I don't know what that means. Alright, well you guys just see that. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Here we go. Now will they come to us? Let there be blood. The winds of magic blow strongly in this place, Commander. Harness its power. Let's see here. Nope, they're gonna fucking start slinging bolts. Okay. We need to move. We need to move right now. There shall be darkness. So much death. Jesus, we already lost such a fat chunk of that of that unit right there. All right, and I'm hoping that do zombies suffer from uh from sprinting? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. We're going to get our asses kicked here. Yes, thank you. Gorse is taking bombs. All right, gang. All right, gang. Look at them all. Look at them all. Just shambling. Just shambling up the hill, ready to get down. The enemy command the high ground. All right. We've got our reinforcements that just showed up. So we are going to drive them the same way. Just a giant blob straight at the army. <laughs> Great tactics, I know. And let's just uh, fast forward this a little bit. Just to get things moving. Oh, man. All right. So, now that we're starting to get up on them. Gorst. Gorst, you need, to, you need to keep up with the rest of the gang. How's our other hero doing over here? Where is our other hero? He's up there in the fray. Gorst needs to start slinging spells. Let's get Invocation of Nehek on this unit here because they're hurting a little bit. Ooh, I should have actually dumped it on those guys up there because they're hurting more. And Dance Macabre. Let's throw that on this unit. Let's throw that on this unit that's in combat right now. All right, we have the rest of our boys coming up here. It's going to take a little bit. It's going to take a little while for them to get up there. Uh, 
these missile units, though. I'm a little worried about those guys. Yeah, that's actually not looking great for us. I mean, we've got their we've got their melee units like all, all right. Look at the fight. Oh man, those guys. Hold up. What are those guys? So they get poison. I don't think we are affected by poison. Um mm, yeah, they are a high threat. In melee unit losing decisively. Okay, so <laughs> our zombies fighting those guys are getting their asses kicked is what that's saying. I still don't know what that means. I would like to know what that means. I feel like it's very important. Maybe it's a uh, like morale or leadership. All right, Gorst, let's get another invocation of the heck out there. Let's uh, replenish. Replenish. Uh, which group should we should we get a little buff to there? Those guys. They're hurting a little bit. They need to heal. All right, we've got Oswald here. What does Oswald do? He's got the invocation of the heck as well. So let's buff up. Uh, let's buff up these units since they're like right there on the line with fighting these guys. All right, how about the rest of our... Man, it's taking them a while to get up there, but they're getting up there. All right, Felix Pon Sinclair, he can also dump some invocations of the heck. And that... Is, yeah, it's taking all of our wounds of magic, but... Okay, we're, we're, we're starting to pull this on our way. I wish I had that AI cam that, that uh, a lot of these uh, Total Warhammer uh, other these other YouTubers have where they have like the AI controlling the, the battle, but then they have like the free cam mode. All right, let's get Dance Macabre. We really need some buffs against these ogres right now. Everywhere is All right, Volker cannot do anything because he's got no magic. And we are just completely out of magic right now. What do these guys do circling around? What do they got planned? Ooh, okay. Uh, you know what? Let us branch some of these guys out over there. Oh, they're hitting us with some Nurgle rot. Okay. Who they got up there? Yeah, Kugath and uh, and Soul Grinder of Nurgle. What's that Soul Grinder doing? Is that a hero unit? It's a missile monster. Yeah. Okay. Mm, this line isn't looking too good. We've got a little more magic that we can throw around now. Just dump it. Uh, all of that unit is really, really, really kind of spread out. All in all, though, I mean, their units are a million times tougher, but we've kind of got the numbers on them. Let's let's uh, roll these guys around to the side here since they're having trouble actually getting into the fight. Let's get these guys. Kind of chase those ogres out of there. Let's wrap up. Uh, let's wrap some of these guys around to this side. If we can. And try to and try to flank on these guys over here. Those guys are giving us a little bit of trouble. Are those? Yeah. Bunch of plague bearers. And these guys are just little guys. I'm not too worried about these guys. Demons deal. All right. Wrap it around, boys. Wrap it around. Okay. Now we've got a little bit of magic we can dump. I will bathe in their blood. Dance macabre. Gonna give it to these guys here. And let's see. So they've got that big unit. That you that one, those that plague ogre unit might be able to take out these three units here. Fortunately, we've got them running. So they're not feeling very confident. What have we got here that's like beating everybody around? Adipus. Okay, that's one of their heroes. I don't even. I was going to say, I'm not sure if we can even get him since he might be a flying unit, but it doesn't look like he is. 
got a little bit of magic to start throwing around. Let's hit, uh, let's hit, uh, who are we going to throw some Dance Macabre on? Let's throw some Dance Macabre on these guys and then send them in. Felix, everybody is out of magic right now. We have no winds of magic powers. We're going to have to let that restore back up. All right, this is actually this is actually going pretty well for us. I know that we're going to have a Pyrrhic victory and we're not necessarily at the at the at the cross line yet here, but we're doing pretty damn good. This unit here isn't doing shit, so we need to wrap them around. Let's start getting them on the hero. Wait, hold on. Where is Okay. I'm not Actually, oh man. I'm a little worried about these these guys here, these exalted plague bearers. These guys up here are starting to take some kind of big hits. That unit is running pretty strong yet. Plus, they've got their their uh, their uh hero there. I'm going to try to get these guys. I don't know why they're taking that route. Ooh, I see it. I see that AOE damage, man. That hurts. I want to try to free up. Uh, some of these some of these units so we can bring them around elsewhere where we need them Okay, let's get some more on uh, on these guys here, okay Let's try to bring back some more units that one's looking pretty bad right now Get a heal on them Those missiles, though. He is so fucking cool, Kugath. That, you know what? I need to sick somebody on that, on that, uh, missile unit up there. <clears throat> I'm a little worried, though. I'm a little worried about doing that. How are our boys over here looking? They're still fighting the Plague Ogres. Okay. It doesn't really look like they're making too much progress on the Plague Ogres. But it doesn't look like the Plague Ogres are doing too much hurt on them either. All right, let's throw a Dance Macabre out on... Yeah, that, this this unit is so scattered. I hate... I, I don't like that at all. Let's throw a Dance Macabre on these guys here. Since right now they're trying to fight that hero unit. These guys need to be attacking. What are you guys doing? Is there just too many of them? Yeah, that's that's so many different units there. Okay. I think it's safe. I think it's safe to pull some of these guys around now. Let's get these guys up here. Got some more invocation of Nahak. Who are we gonna drop that on? This unit's looking a little tired. This these units are looking hella tired. Um That might be the that might be the best one. Alright, let's turn some of let's turn some of those zombies onto those ogres there. Here we go. Here we go. I'm so worried about that that hero though, and they've got they've got their three. I don't really have any offensive spells. I mean, I have some buffs, but I don't have offensive spells. And who do I want to drop this on? That's like the most units fighting that hero right now. Ooh, look at the, look at it going down. All right. 
Man, they really did have some tough units because their army was not that big in comparison to ours. I know like all of our ours are, are really, really weak, really weak and cheap units, but my God. Get these boys. Oh, look at all the bodies just flying. Let me throw out another dance macabre. Oh shit. Okay. That who got who got them the gang are fucking finally hopping in here. Alright. Uh actually I need to I need to never mind. I need to wait and try to get some more invocation of the heck. How much does that cost to, to shoot? Damn, it costs seven. My ones of magic keeps. Okay. Or is that how much that costs? Which unit needs replenished? We'll give it to these guys. Our, our necromancer is kind of kind of taking a take a little nap there. How are these guys doing against the uh, the plague ogres? Not great. It's about even right now with those guys. At this point, we cannot let we cannot let Gath fucking get going over on us. If we don't win this fight, we're gonna be so we're gonna be wide open at our capital. Let's just yep. Let's just get that unit finished. Okay. Don't even worry about the nerdlings. Just go straight for the general. Let's hit, uh, let's hit a dance macabre on one of our units here. Which one? I have no idea. It's kind of a clusterfuck right now. Oh, I had one. Which one? Eh. Maybe these guys here. Everywhere is death. All right, so he's got some magic they can be spitting out. They will Nobody. When I We've got no points. All right, let's wrap these guys up on this dude here. We're just going to keep pushing them in. Man, we lost a we lost a lot of good men today. It's a good thing we have all of the dark magic money in the world because we lost a lot of guys. What's Oswald doing? He's just chilling. Do some magic. Do some magic, bro. Show us your magic tricks. Ooh, I'm a little worried about their their generals. Very hard for our guys to get pushed in. I mean, it's not even a matter of of like surrounding them or like blobbing up on them it's just like they're they're having trouble getting to the enemy units okay let's pull these guys back because now they're now they're on the chase we don't want them on the chase like that we need to keep them together if they get spread out there's a good chance they're going to get overpowered we just need to keep the pressure on these on these heroes and their lord Everybody is snoozing right now for the most part. We are dead. We've got an invocation of the heck we can dump. Uh, let's dump it on a unit that's actually in the fight doing something. Oh, that's a pretty big unit. These guys coming back? They are. They want more. They're ready for round two. They got a drink of their Gatorade and they're they're ready to come back. How are we doing over on this this little battle here? Okay, cool. That's a close one, but we definitely got that. Those guys will probably not come back to this battle over here. This will be over before they're done. Oh man, okay. We're about to. Uh, no, we're not about to. We're about to lose our our Volker Geldrick here. Get on them and swarm them. That dude got knocked to next Tuesday. Jesus. Man. 
this is this is like way too much rot for even Nurgle to be handling. Ooh. That was a, that was a kind of a fat AOE spell that hit a lot of my units here. I lost. Okay, what have we got for magic? Life Nothing yet. Okay, so uh, we've actually got the gaze and the gosh. Unfortunately, we don't have the magic to use it. Charge one power per nine seconds. That's really rough for us. How are we doing over here? We definitely need some of these. Man, yeah. Let's get. Let's let's try to get this thing out of here. Let's push these guys into this guy here. And we haven't even touched the gas. Let's see. Yeah, we're still we're still we're still really hurting on the magic though. This unit got a little bit of health back, it looks like. I don't know what they're gonna do. I wonder if they're gonna try to flank down here maybe or something. Ooh, just about got this unit out of here. Oh, that's just like a regular unit, it looks like. Yeah, just a couple of their plague bears. We're really having a lot of trouble with their with their hero units. Not that like this little fight even really matters. I'm just I'm just seeing what's going on with them. Uh oh, these plague ogres are kind of wearing down. These ones are over here having a coffee break. Kagath, dude. Fucking Kagath. We got any magic? No, we still have no magic at all. The winds of ma the the winds of magic are just not doing us any solids right now. I have a feeling that Kagath could probably take on the rest of our our army here. So we have to we have to get them routed like quick. We're not doing anything to them. It's really high melee defense, plus 24. We're like my zombie units, like Brock, and stats wise. Just can't really look at them. Oh, but we're rallying up here. That's that's killer. Because they know it's Friday night. They want to fucking go home to their, their lady zombies. Just trying to wrap this shit up. Vampire Lord. They weren't kidding, though, when they said that this was going to be a Pyrrhic victory. Come on, boys. We're out of uh, we're out of magic, so we're not gonna be healing or bringing any of you guys back. God, this is actually starting to look very not good. We're not gonna get Kagath. That's just not gonna happen, I don't think. So I think we need to swarm one of their lords to get one of them out of here, break their morale a little bit more. Living will join us. I got guard mode, group, halt. Okay, seeing what that stuff was. Well, I guess I'm not super familiar with, with actually controlling my, my units. All right, this is the fight. This is the fight. Oh, 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 what's going on here? Oh, they were doing charges on us. Okay. Should be feasting on these nuts, Nurgle. Probably not. Actually, I wouldn't let you touch them. That's, that sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> That's how you get the clap. All right. Demon spew. That, those guys are done for. This guy looks like his... Uh... What does that mean? Exhausted, maybe? Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. You Plague Ogres thought you were going to pull something cool, huh? Tonight I feast. All right. Now we're just going to watch it happen. Oh, my God. Really, though? Really, though? We just have no magic. Mine. The dead are mine. I'm surprised we haven't lost any hero units yet. Volker got kind of messed up. They will suffer. All right. Who can we finish? Who can we just get out of here quick? Kill them. Get that thing out of here. We're going to keep focusing on that guy. Yup, everybody just swarm in. These guys are about out of here. We can't catch them though. They're too big. They take bigger steps than we do. What's uh what's this over here? Oh, those guys are just running around looking for uh looking for like quarters and shit. Helman Ghost. Look at all the carnage. Look at all of the zombies. What's happening with this unit here? Critical binding, damage sustained. Ooh, I'm really hoping that we can outlast them. We are dead. Ooh, Gorsh just got knocked around. Butcher them. Focus on focus on one guy. You gotta you gotta you gotta put all your strength into one guy right now. Might maybe it should have been gas I don't know. That I was gonna say that that wasn't even like a great unit that they had there. So Kugas got like pretty high defense. What does this thing have? Oh, things aren't looking good for these guys. We've got it. We, we have got this battle here. I, I mean, that's very possible that they could pull through, but I don't think it's going to happen. Let's just uh, throw our guys over there. Yep, we got more. We got we got a few more uh, really busted ass teams coming after you. Oh, wow. See that thing? I remember that thing having a lot of health a second ago, and these zombies actually really chewed through it. Ooh, good gas, good gas. So when it gives us the chance, when it gives us the opportunity uh, where we can end the battle, I think we might just stay here and try to like kill Kagath. I'm I'm feeling pretty confident that we can make that happen. Undead, come for. <laughs> oh. oh man, he's so cool though. Yeah, I really wish that there was like a like a cinematic mode on here. Is there? I don't think there is. I think you do have to have a mod for that. Oh, what's this here? Hoggle unit camera. How do we how do we get a mess around with that? Oh, okay, we can get rid of that UI there. Yep. We're going to make him fucking sleep in the bed that he made. You've been a thorn on my side for too long, Kugath. Your heckling days are over. We're going to rematch him. Not really, though. All right. All right. That went a lot better than I thought, honestly. I thought that we were going to kind of get smoked. Damn. So we, we left that fight with 20, 2,400 units. He's got 11. What does he have left? Some Plague Ogres? Hmm. Those ones that were just, like, running around. He's got, he's got a few uh, Demon Spawn, or Demon Spew, it looks like. 
not very many of either of these two units and unfortunately guys i had a a crash when i was doing um when i was going through the battle report loading so now i'm gonna have to do that shit again i am not gonna do it uh i'm just gonna do an auto resolve here magic is mine to command I was a little dismayed by that because I feel like I did an actually, like a genuinely good job controlling my army, but we're just going to auto resolve this time. I'm going to lose a lot more guys than I did during that fight because I was just kind of killing it. All right, let's get our Pyrrhic victory. Actually, let's see how, let's see how we do. Let's see if the AI is better than I am. Actually, the AI is a lot better than I am. That's not how I wanted things to go that I, I feel a little guilty with that um, because they did have left a couple leftover units. I don't think it would have mattered all that much. They would have had to have recruited a new Lord to run them. And let's see here. We don't really need the money. We get our army replenished. And I don't know if it's worth, uh, I don't know if it's worth trying to level up these zombies. I mean, if we can keep them alive, that'd be nice, but I feel like I'm just going to keep cycling through, through new zombie units. Um, 4% really isn't that much, though. Let's go with the experience. All right. Helm and Gorse now has a chance of plague spreading by minus 20% and plus 30 growth in my local province. So that's kind of nice. Spell resistance, 10%. Okay. And Felix von Sinclair got the ability Potion of Farsight. Gives him forest spotting plus 100%. And range plus 30%. He also got raised dead cost minus 7%, which is kind of huge. You guys were there though. You saw me, you saw me do it fair and square. Now let's have our Banshee assassinate Chant if we can. Okay, for some reason we can't. Do we already use her her action this turn? But what I had done prior was I did recruit a new hero. So I'm gonna do that. And I believe I recruited the Who did I recruit? It was either the Lord Keeper or the Tactician, I'm pretty sure. I, I think I, I... Who the hell did I recruit? Oh. Oh, I think I recruited the Tactician. Okay. And then she comes out the gate leveled up. I gotta dump some points into her. Why is this running so so bad all of a sudden? Assassinate specialist, assassinate and specialist is what I had dumped her points into. And now that we've won those fights, the curse of undeath. That's a passive. Triggers when casting a spell, resurrects dead combatants, heals injured. Okay. Um, I would really like to get stronger versions of invocation of the heck and and uh, dance macabre. But I feel like the Curse of Undeath will probably be super useful while I'm casting these two anyway. So let's just get a let's get a, a nice passive ability there. Ooh, Volker. Volker leveled up quite a bit. Uh, you know I'm gonna go with the same Curse of Undeath for him. I didn't really use Gaze of Nagash, and I I, I feel like it's not that strong of a spell. It causes moderate magical damage, good against armor, good against large, and strong against. He might be my tank killer, actually. Let's uh, let's dump a couple points into him, into gazing the gash there. Okay, Helm and Gorst. Curse of Undeath. Let's awaken from the grave here. Summons a unit. Of oh nope, can't mess with that at all. What's Master of Death? Master of the Dead. Excuse me. Uh, plus one for okay. Targeting range plus. 200 okay so that's that's just a booster for awaken from the grave for the most part we can uh we can power up our invocation of the heck and then we can also let's get another gaze of, of the uh, let's get a dance macabre and a gaze of nagash i feel like that's probably not the way i want to be doing things but all right oswald skellen he is a hero, but we've incorporated him into our army. Let's give him... What does Raise Dead give us? Summons a unit of zombies. 
Okay. Um. I can't, I can't, be, I like, I don't feel like I'm going to be popping these off like crazy. Not as much as I'm going to be popping off in Vacation and Dance Macabre. Let's make sure that everybody that we have has the capacity to do all of those spells. All right, that is all of our levels there. So now, now, oh, I think Emmeline has like a like a summoning sickness. She probably can't make it over there to assassinate that dude. Yeah. And why it's it's a fresh turn. I don't know why she can't get over there to do that, but no matter. So we've got Grog here. Grog's got quite the sizable army. The pus from you. But his units are not as strong as uh as Kugath's were. So maybe we should chill. Well, no, I mean, like, if we can get everybody back into the zone where they're not suffering attrition. We can make sure that... Oh, yeah, we didn't actually lose any any units at all. So let's get them built back up. We're going to go after Grog next. We're going to try to get Nobly Gorge. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I actually did not expect him to come over here like that. Can we retreat? Decisive. Oh, that was stupid of me. Man, that was stupid of me. I shouldn't have retreated. It would have been a close defeat. If had I not retreated, he would have had less less units, and now he's still not doing too bad. Shit. I can't believe I did that. Oh my god yeah this is running like ass i uh, i apologize at home guys okay one of your spies let's uh a hero action cost minus 20 percent hero action costs let's uh always the plus 10 chance for two turns available lords who the fuck is wolfric halsnicked i'm i'm thinking he might be the guy just yeah yeah, let's go with uh, let's go with Wolfric. Oswald was unfortunately killed in battle, so we're going to have to hire another necromancer. How many Gorse was wounded? Oh man, okay. That's not that's not very uh, that's not very good. Let's try to block his army, and it was a failure. Okay. Let's get Wolfric back into our territory so he's not taking any more attrition damage. Felix has got a gang here. Uh, actually, I don't know if I want him near that small group because that small group is about to get beat up on. We've got a second army here. Why is she not moving? Oh, she's still recruiting. My bad. Okay. Let's see who I can raise here. Can I get any more zombies real fast? Doesn't look like I can. Oh, uh, yeah, we might want to get Wolfric out of there. Let's get him, uh, let's get him garrisoned up. Oh, looks like he doesn't have the uh, movement to do so. Okay, Nikola. What does Nikola have? Uh, we'll give her another assassinate. And does Emmeline have have the have the guts to do it? Can she can she pull it off? They escaped unscathed. All right, no dice. Looks like that's all we can really do for our turn right now. I did see that coming, hundred percent. I totally saw that coming. Should we fight defenses? Man, that's rough. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Oh, shit. This is going to be an absolute slaughter. I mean, we could chill and wait for reinforcements, but I don't think they will let us have that. Um, they're going to be peppering us. 
where the hell are they at? I'm not I'm not channeling magic anymore. I learned my lesson there. All right, let's uh, start our deployment. Where the hell are our units at? Is this really it? That's all we've got? <laughs> no. Can't I just run? Yes. Uh, let's set these guys up here. You serve me, Master Necromancer. All right, gang. There's like three of you. Let's get it. How much time do we have till reinforcements arrive? A minute. Okay. Let's do this. Oh man. A giant, Commander. Take it down from afar. Don't let it near your massed infantry. But I don't even know why I played this fight. This was this was dumb. Y'all need to hurry up. Y'all need to hurry up. Let's uh let's run back this way. That way we can rally with the gang when they show up here. Will free them. We'll have slightly more of a chance. Still no chance at all. I move We're going to be fucking throwing spells, though. Dude, oh my god. What are those running up on us? Warhounds. The damn warhounds. They're coming for us. Swiftly. We're not going to be able to outrun them. See, I was going to take everybody to uh, McDonald's on the corpse carts, but uh, it doesn't look like there's really going to be anybody left. Oh, my God. This is the rest of the guys that we have. All right, boys. Better get better get cracking. Yeah, there's no chance. There's no way in hell. Start slinging fucking start slinging spirit leech and shit. Valid target. I'm trying to trying to cast it on these guys here. All right, gang. Oh, there's the rest of the boys. All right. Nah, cavalry showed up. Again, we're still going to get our asses beat, but... Oh, not the Chaos Furies. These guys over here, these toads. Death to the living. Well, let's just let's just get everybody all all ganged up on one enemy. Rog's not even that tough. He's only a level eight, man. I mean, he's going to be higher now after after he wins his fight against us, but. Ready to bring death. All right, let's start. Let's start dumping some spells on these dudes. Start using that spirit leech. I don't actually think I'm getting off. Let's uh, the dance macabre on these guys here. Oh shit, I didn't mean to use it on him. Oh, then he just got slapped across the world. Yeah, we're so boned. Lost All right, everybody, turn on these guys. Turn on these guys. We're gonna try to kill as many of them as we can. These two groups are really not going to be all that useful. We're going to have to circle them around over here. We might be able to get some of those theories out. Oh. Yeah, this isn't going to go very well. It's not going to go very well at all for us. Just uh, speed up the time here. Let's just make this one go by quick. We know, we know what's going to happen. Look at them all dancing. Look at all look at all the little guys dancing. Oh. Yeah, this is horrible. This was horrible. Oh, let's give uh let's give that crew the invocation. Give um give that same crew the dance with Cobb. Spirit leech, uh, spirit leech this guy here. Oh, look at the giant hand coming out. And what's this? Uh, that's a vacation, isn't it? It is. Let's give it to, uh, give it to this unit here. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's no chance in hell. Man, these warhounds keep coming in and out, doing little drive-by attacks. Oh, that spirit leech doing its work. Put it in the overtime. Oh man, look at it, it's gruesome. Oh, they're just spraying poison all over our guys. Got the got this big plague ogre coming in. Oh, look at those guys slapping those nerglings around though. There we go. Oh man, look at it. Look at look at it, the carnage. A fucking beast of nurgle there. He's not taking any damage at all. All right, let's wrap this up. Let's see what happens. I mean, we know what's going to happen. Oh, man. The tragedy. The humanity. I don't really think we took out, like... Oh, they're rallying. Nice, cute. I don't really think we took out, like, any of their units at all. Damn, look at that. Look at that. Who's that guy? Billius Thunderguff? Who let Billius Thunderguff on the loose? I like how my guys are rallying though. They're 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 not they're not let they're not just laying down, man. They're they're fighting for what they believe in, and that's that's nothing. That's uh having their souls finally set free to the warp after serving their their purpose of dying, being undead, re-dead. They're probably gonna be undead again here. Gentlemen, you fought hard. You fought well. Let's just end this. It's too gruesome. I can't watch. We have zero remaining. They have 696 remaining. That's rough. That went about as well as expected. All right. It was a decisive defeat. It was decided that we would be defeated there. And now we've got a problem because now Grog is in our territory. Haunted Forest receives the plague. Oh man. All right. Uh, that's not good. This feels like it's uh, about to be over. All right. So yes, we've Received a plague from Foxmakers. And we need to hire another guy. That guy is all beat up. How many courses all beat up? Let's see. I don't really need Devious. Disciplined might be nice. Still thinking that we're probably going to stick with the, uh, the Necromancers and the Vampires. Damn, he, co he comes with Spirit Leech. That's kind of... Cool. Let's uh let's go with our leadership though. I feel like he's going to be offensively a, a little bit better. Okay. Master of the Black Arts and Perceptive. Let's go with Master of the Black Arts. Wait. How uh Hero Action Success Chance plus five percent is actually kind of nice. Do we want hero? chances or do we want the uh the additional uh miscast chance to go down and he comes with his spirit leech that's a tough choice still thinking his leadership is six uh probably gonna go with the other vampire lord too all right uh Grog. Grog, Grog, Grog. Volker was killed. Felix was killed. Okay, so... Eh, we still got high vampire corruption in the, in the forest. I don't know how long the... Uh, this plague is going to last. Yes, Can we immediately raise some dead? 
looks like she doesn't need them. She will have a full team in one turn. But yes. that kind of puts everybody else out. Unfortunately, we don't have any more. Or, no, wait, can we recruit with Gunther? Ah, we still don't have any zombies to raise, to raise dead. We should have some dead on the battlefield somewhere around here, though, shouldn't we? Uh, I mean, we've got them over there. I don't see any dead to raise around here, though. Man, and he's gonna start. He's gonna start slinging on us. Ready. What I could do is cancel these guys real quick. Move. I'm gonna put garrison her, and then I'm going to recruit these guys for next turn. And it kind of seems like that's all we can really do right now. Minus 20% movement range isn't really going to help all that much. She's still level one. Let's see if we can. All right. So we have successfully wounded chant. That's cool. That's something. I mean, uh, just, just for the experience, let's, let's try to block his army. Again, we have, we have money we can throw around and that was a failure. That's all right, though. She gained a level. And we will get specialist again. Did, uh, Nicola, did she rank up? She did not. What's her? Ah, uh, man. My bloodline calls. I mean, let's get, let's get. No, we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna get these guys within proximity of each other So hopefully they can all reinforce each other if a fight breaks out Lord not moved. That's okay Yeah, shit 35% chance that that this will become Available next recruitment turn is kind of rough 35% is pretty damn low So let's just see what this dude does to us Oh, is he getting out of here? Is he making a big is he making a big mistake in letting us rally our troops back? I think so. Oh shit, our army got the plague. So I wish, I wish, uh, okay, here we go. Just like the plague lord himself, followers of Nurgle cannot resist combining and recombining strains of disease. What does that actually do, though? Yep, we've all got the plague, guys. Everybody's unhappy about it. Okay. However, she has now recruited a full gang. So now we can start working on one of these other armies. These guys still didn't come up. That sucks. All right. Let's get him. And let's just uh let's just keep trying to trying, trying to gain experience for these guys, shall we? That was a failure. Emmeline, might as well go try your hand. You're going to fail too. Okay, but we're getting experience for them. That's all that really matters. God, I, I wish I had the space to put this game on my SSD. <laughs> Alright, somebody's coming to us for with a with a proposition, it sounds like. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Imric, Knights of Kalidor, the High Elves. Okay, what do they have to offer? A peace treaty. I mean, that's that's all well and good, my friend. I'll give you 2,000 bucks. But what are you actually going to do? I'd prefer that you just weren't attacking me for the time being. That would be nice, but... Yeah, as you can see, I'm at a fucking war with a god of chaos, so you should probably do something about that before that war is now on your doorstep, too. Oh, 
All right. Everybody got the plague now. Everybody's got the plague now. I don't know how how plague rot works on on undead, but everybody be gotten the plague now. Can we raise dead yet? We can. We can raise one. So we're not even gonna bother. We're gonna let those build up. All right, and let's just keep keep blocking this dude's army. Escaped unscathed. Now we can dump a point into that. And let's see if uh let's see if she can roll it. Let's see if she can roll it. Oh, cure recruitment cost for banshees minus twelve percent. And that was a failure as well. She didn't or did we did we get her? Okay, yeah, she did roll, she failed. What? Yeah, if anybody can tell, I don't want to sit here and Google it on video, but if somebody can tell me how uh, plague ha like works, I'll probably Google it after I'm done recording here. Rog need to get the fuck out of my house, dude. We all need to get our 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 Nurgle our Nurgle rot vaccines. Looks like there are 117 factions left out of the, uh, I think, 285 that we started with, roughly. Helmogorus is back, ready to rock and roll. I'm thinking... I'm thinking that I need to... How do I switch him out for Hel Helmogorst? I mean, we will recruit Helmogorst here. Get him back out on the field. And let's see here. So this guy's army is about full. Just needs three more units. So let's recruit one, two, three. And let's get Gorst. His uh, army start starting to uh, muster back up here. Gorst. And again, let's try to... Ooh, shit. Now they've got some boys here. Okay, that's not good. That's really not good. We need to start trying to assassinate these people. That was a failure. I really want to get rid of that guy. 57% chance. That's pretty good. All right, we wounded Oedipus. Nice. And unfortunately, we're running out of... Or we can't really put any more points into assassinate or specialist. We can do block army again just to max that out. And did she level up? She did not. But as long as they keep hanging out here, we're going to keep assassinating their boys. Hmm. Hmm. Military access, huh? Yeah. Come on through, bro. Bring that whole ass military down here. I'm not even going to take it as a sign of aggression. We need the help. We're hurting over here. Uh, yeah. We are definitely going to refuse that money because we cannot take any more, any other kinds of chaos corruption. All right, Wolfric is back. Ready to rock. We've got... Two full armies. Thinking, I'm thinking that this cat needs to just uh, give Helm and Gorse his boys there. And Gorst. Or yeah, Gorst. Master of the dead. Let us recruit some more boys. Nice. There we go. We had three there. And let us, uh, we're going to send our, we're just going to send our banshees chasing, chasing people. Ooh, okay. I didn't realize that they, they added 20, 20 growth. Expand Sylvania's Sucks because we're not going to have another growth turn until five turns from now. 
haunt the city. Okay. What can these guys do here? Damage walls. Uh, not very good. Not very good chances. Nigh impossible. Okay. Oh, look who's back. Chant. Chant, you're going to get assassinated, bro. You better get out of here. You know what we did to you last time. I wonder, so is Kugath, after we defeated him in that fight, is he dead now or will he return? I feel like he will return. All right, so uh, do we offer a tribute and keep control or do we go for growth? Our control is pretty high. We might as well. Let's uh, let's go for growth, shall we? We've only got the one province. I don't think we're losing it anytime soon. Nice. Unleaving, unliving siege engines. Leadership plus five when laying siege. Leadership plus five when under siege. And missile resistance plus five during siege. That's kind of tight. All right. Right quickly here. Let's uh, let's roll her first. And the assassination of Chant was a failure. What are our chances here? 52%. So it's a, it's a coin toss. Damn, that was a failure too. All right, guys, you, you guys are letting me down. Got room for another technology that we can research. Yeah, yeah, I, I have a, yeah, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> plus death rise again, plus 10% chance for destroyed units to be restored after battle. Minus 30% attrition, which is great because the entire area that we are like locked locked out like the entire area is nurgle corruption right now so we just we can't move anywhere anywhere without taking attrition damage and then raise dead cost minus five percent we're just going to continue to save money um yeah and that was the i'm pretty sure last episode that's what i was building towards was trying to get that one so let us summon up four more of those bad boys I feel like I should save these guys. I feel like I should should stockpile those. Okay, Emmeline. Let's give her a block army, shall we? Increase her chances of that. Right now we're posturing. Oh, Grog is back. Grog is coming back. We're gonna have to slap down some of his uh some of his heroes if we can. I think if we can assassinate his heroes, he gets scared and doesn't have doesn't have the confidence to like come at us. Chant, I'm not super worried about now because he's just an independent agent doing his own thing. So let's throw Emmeline at him first. Let's try to assassinate Elgar. And he has been he has been wounded. Oh wait, no, Emmeline has been wounded. Ooh, she fucking rolled a one, dude. She rolled snake eyes. All right, we're gonna throw Nikola at him. And that was a failure. Ouch. We're uh, we're not doing so hot here. But Gorst will now have a full team after next turn. Because of that, we can start. So we've got one, two. It is nice. We've got three armies. We'll start working on a fourth. Bro, we're gonna lay we're gonna lay waste to that fucking dirty bastard. Alright, so we are once again going to do a fake retreat on these on these guys. Let us let us grab all of our 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 group here. Thankfully these trees are in the way too. So Alright, where are our guys gonna come in from? Over this way. Oh shit. Okay, grab all these guys. Let's start them off. Back here. Can we get them a, a little bit further away, actually? That's about the cluster that we're gonna that we're gonna have them in. Okay. Now, if we can just if we can fucking wait. Wait this out. You may use the hills, valleys. Thank you. I know I can use the hills and the valleys. 
hopefully it's going to take them a minute to get to us. Let's just, uh, let's roll this forward real quick. All right. We've got our boys here. Now we're going to fucking bring it to them. Destroy now we are going to bring it to them. To assist your tactical planning, Commander. Yep. Fast forward this. Just get these guys out here. Look at that. Look at that surge. Oh, yeah. That's AI. Shit, I forgot. Wait, can I un-AI them? I thought that, like, I could make AI, like, control them for now. But, like, if I wanted to, I could, I could take control of them. Looks like that is not really the case here. Which really sucks because I, I, I wish that they were all blobbed. Commander. Mm, I might have I might have messed up again, guys. To retain the element of surprise. Oh, I thought I saw some red arrows over there. Okay. Hey, either way, let's just try to overrun them by sheer number. It worked last time. So one of their units are visible. Where's the TAC map? How do I bring up TAC map? What's that arrow? All right, there they are. Just waiting. Group your units for best effect, Commander. Formations may be useful when maneuvering before the enemy. Okay, good. They're start they're starting to rush in. They're starting to pull some guys in. I think. Unless they're just they're uh switching up their lines a bit. And I don't know if they have any range units, but the fact that this is all forested, I think works to our advantage. Spells may be overcast to increase their potency, my lord. Yet, I advise caution. Channeling so much raw magic at once brings the risk of disaster. Oh, I didn't realize that you could... Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize that you could overcast a spell. Oh, shit. The fucking... All right, let's get them, boys. Let's get them, boys. What are those guys? Nurglings, Exalted, the Beast, and fucking old Grog himself. Is Helmet Gorse only low? What level is he? I don't know. Oh, you guys are splintering. You guys need to get up on here. And Gorse needs to keep up with the army so he can provide his passives. All right. Let's roll this in normal time so we can hear some screams. Ooh. Fucking hit this dude with, the, with an old gaze and a gash there. Of course, get up there. Get up there with the crew. Requires line of sight to the target. I think I have line of sight to the target. With haste. Seems like I do. The power is mine. Okay. Let's get, uh, now nah, let's get Dance Macabre on these units here, fighting those guys. And unfortunately, I don't have control of my other, uh, my other, uh, generals. Okay, are we losing guys anywhere rapidly? Doesn't really look like it. Uh, maybe over here. We're gonna, we're gonna hit those guys with the invocation. Okay. Looks like we had a few regiments there uh kind of kind of get sidetracked and not understand the uh the assignment here. Can we get Gaze in the Gash on Grog again? Actually, what about that? Let's get it on Bilius, dude. Bilius is going to cause some problems. Ooh, look at that magic missile just fly over there. That didn't do shit to him. All right, uh, looks like, yeah, this, the way that this group has got its formation going is kind of funky. But 
Bilius, dude, Bilius. He really needs to go down. All right, let's get uh, an invocation of Nehek on these strangers right here. Get them all healed up. And let's get a uh, Dance Macabre on uh, who's like actually up there in the fray right now fighting. Oh, those guys actually probably need a little bit of help. Let's dump another. Uh, let's. We got. We got really. We got a lot of magic in reserve here. Let's try to get a little damage on that beast of Nurgle. Oh, okay. So this is how we can uh, look around and stuff. This is cool. Okay, I've never. I've never got to do this. Must don't be only when you're uh, doing AI. Oh, look at the fight! Plague ogres are always scary. Got the gang of zombies going on right now. All right. So let's see here. Yeah, that beast of Nurgle is, is always a problem. How are you guys doing over here? You guys are kind of splintered. I don't know if you need that many guys over there. Maybe you do. All right, Gorst. Let's get uh, let's get another invocation on. Let's get an invocation on this unit. They're they're getting hurt a little bit. And let's get a dance macabre on the same dudes. We gotta get left. Uh, that beast Nurgle does some damage. We need to get him out of here. Oh, all right. And Grog is just kind of running around in the background, calling the shots. How are we doing on that, uh, Bilius? Not great. Really not great at all. They've got some, they've got some very strong, like, single units. Raise them. Oh, it looks like that beast Nurgle's uh, feeling a little tired. I wish we had some soul leechers right now. Ooh, okay, that actually that actually hurt him quite a bit. And we're gonna support these guys over here, trying to stand up against stand up against uh, Bilius and his little regime here. I'm having the same problem where everybody's kind of scattered. Uh, that unit is about to take a beating. Let's get it on these zombies here. And we're running out of magic, so I need to probably let that let that go back up here before we start slinging any more big spells. Unsurprisingly, these uh, units are getting their ass beat. I don't know what these guys are doing. Like, bro, let me let me control them, please. I feel like I yeah if I can get that beast of Nurgle out of there though that'll that'll clear up a lot of our units for fighting uh fighting the rest of these big ones and he's actually taking damage from that not a lot at a time well, I mean a sizable chunk but it's it would still take a few gazes in the gashes to bring that thing down fortunately it looks like Oh, what are these guys here? Those are those are some more ogres. Okay. Uh, you know what? Dude, we just like cannot bring Bilius down. Okay, so we've got these armies coming over to attack these guys. So that looks like it's probably probably all kosher. Um those ogres are not doing anything at all. I'm not worried about them. Let's try to get these plague bearers out of here. Like, yeah, push up on them. That beast of Nurgle is still hanging in there tight. Let's see if we can cast another case in the gash on him and bring him down even further. Uh-oh. Yep, here come the plague ogres. 
Unfortunately, we are out of winds of we are out of magic reserve. Yeah, this is this is a tight one. I don't know if AI is doing the right thing. I'm just hoping that they can get these guys cleared out over here like sooner than later. What's up, Grog? You trying to you trying to join the fray here? How is Gorst like? Gorst has an actual combatant. Try to get more of these zombies here within his range of control. For the night. For the night, brother. For the night. Get him, Gorst. Oh, they got two beasts and Nurgles. I didn't even realize that. But I I was casting on the wrong one. Uh oh. Uh-oh. One power per nine seconds. Why are we not... Do I not understand this? I thought we would get a recharge every nine seconds, and I don't know why we're not. Is it because I have Gorman... Or, yeah, uh, Gorst fighting right now, so he doesn't have the time to, like, actually muster up his power? How's Bilius doing? Bilius is still kind of killing it. He's exhausted, which is good. I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make, though. What's this group over here doing? Best Ring Stooges. Are th those are missile units? No, they're sword infantry. Hmm. Okay. Thankfully, we're getting this Beast of Nurgle worn down. Same thing with this one. He's he's slowly but surely getting beat up. Oh, okay. This dude coming out with the magic. He's still got a little bit of magic left in him. Oh, no. Our guys are getting debilitated. They really fight the fight. They really fight the fight. These guys could be doing more. Let's get him on this unit. Let's get him on Elgar. Oh, and then Grog comes in. Then Grog comes in. No, 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 no. No, we're going to fucking... We're, we're going to put a hurt on Grog. Bilius is just insanely tough, though. He has been surrounded by units, and he has not lost any health at all. I mean, his, his stats are down, but that's not really making too much of a difference right now. We can get Grog, though. Ooh, if we can get Grog, though. And these Plague Ogres are definitely probably going to wipe these zombies out. They're going to come pretty damn close. Okay, this guy's this guy is running. So we don't want to chase. We don't want to chase. We got to we got to hold the line. Keep them in on it. We'll send some more boys over to try to deal, deal some more damage on this beast of Nurgle here. Did we clear out the other beast of Nurgle? I don't see it anywhere. What's his uh what's his standard look like? A beast of Nurgle, of course. About right. Ooh, and Grog, Grog is hurt. Grog is really hurt. If we can get Grog down, I feel like their their uh, army is gonna kind of start to splinter. Bilius, though, still a problem. see him slap some of our guys around oh yeah he is like super exhausted he's like not attacking at all i mean he is slowly frog you are going down brother you are going down okay looks like these guys these what nurglings dude some nurglings surrounded our boys over here I mean, those exalted plague bearers, like those guys, those are some pretty tough units. I've come to, I've come to learn. 
And this beast of Nurgle is just straight rallying. He's healing. Okay, have we got any free units that aren't really aren't really fighting? We've got these guys here. So let's keep up the pressure on on this beast. keep up the pressure on these plague bearers here then these ogres finally joined the fight too that's not bueno grog is hanging on for dear life though i want to see that little fight going on look at him dance look at him dancing around ring his bell gorus ring his bell What are these over here? Some festering stooges. Uh, I don't really know how tough those guys are. Your troops have uncovered hidden foes. Where? Oh, just the same guys that were chilling in the trees. Yeah, we kind of knew about those guys already. Oh, they're missile units. No. Wait, they're sword infantry. Who are wait, who are these guys then? They're sword infantry. They're firing. Okay. That is not good. Is Grog still? I will bathe in that blood. Oh, he's broken. Okay, there we go. Good deal. Break him some more. Break him some more. Okay, I'm a little worried about these missile units over here. Okay, these ones are these ones are on the move, but these fucking ogres, man, these ogres. This beast of Nurgle is still dancing around? Hellman, can you please just, just finish Grog? Please, just finish Grog off so we can move you to go fight something more... Something still hanging out like this, like, tough, like this beast of Nurgle. Alright. Got Grog. They took a fat... They... They took a fat hit there, but they kind of just like brought that chunk back. Can we get this beast of Nurgle? That'll be huge too. I don't know if we're going to be able to take... Oh, actually, Phileas is, is finally going down. Get him, Gorst. Get him. Block him. Uh-oh. We've kind of become surrounded by all of these fucking... Plague bearers. Okay. The plague ogres keep running in, doing some damage, running back out, doing like some like guerrilla warfare tactics. Then they'll then they'll throw in. Oh, Elgar! Shit, where, where'd you show up, man? I haven't seen you in a while. Is Bilius? I don't think Bilius is rallying at all. No. We're losing these two units, hundred percent. That's not a good deal. Fortunately, though, Helmut Gorse is, is really, like, hanging in there. He's not taking any damage. He is actually wearing that Beast of Nurgle down. Where's our other hero at? Oh, yeah, we're not controlling him, so don't even worry about it. Let's get the cool map, shall we? Oh, man. Look at the battlefield. At all of our zombies look at them guys they're trying to earn that mcdonald's they want to take the corpse cart downtown and get some mickey d's get everybody hamburgers oh that beast of nurgle is gonna eat it that beast of nurgle is gonna eat it what's his health at right now oh ho, ho, ho. there's no way there's no way he's hanging on much longer This feels so good. You guys have no idea. Got it. Oh, there he goes. All right. Now. Now. Hellman. Hellman, where are you going to? Uh, I think we're all right on those plague bearers. Elgar. Elgar is 
gonna Elgar's next. That'll be the last of their heroes. I know the Beast and Nurgle. I don't think Beast and Nurgle was a hero, but there was definitely some threatening units. And Elgar, Elgar better not escape. We got the corpse cart. We got four zombies pulling this thing. Oh shit! Look out, Helmet! Yeah, Helmet kind of took a little hit there. It's kind of nice that we have that Vanguard deployment, though I can't foresee us really using it. Especially with, like, kind of how our, our zombies, how we're running our zombies is just one giant undead blob rushing towards the army. We're not really being tactical about it. Did we get Bilius? Nah, Bilius can dress back here. Nah, we're not, we're not done. We're not done here. Get him, boys. Get his ass. We're not, we're not letting fucking Elgar get away either. No way. Get back here. Can we still continue to fight these guys? I mean, even though they're trying to run. Attack! Like, is it possible to kill these guys so they... Eh, he's kind of getting away. He's a little bit quicker than we are. So is that giant. Oh, but they're trying. They're trying so hard. Let's see what happens. We'll fast forward this. Yeah, he's going to escape. Elgar is going to escape into the woods. All right. So how did we do? Okay, so we left them with a sizable chunk of their Plague Ogres. Their Bilius is still standing. Uh, their Chaos Warhounds, they've still got a few of those left. And just some cult some Nurgle Cultists, they're still around. We didn't... Uh, yeah, we actually... Well, we lost a lot of dudes. Okay, yeah, we lost a lot of dudes. We didn't do too bad, though. All right, that battle... That battle... Turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. We actually... Oh, okay. So, it looks like Attila Barishmir's little group there. Uh, they lost quite a few people. Our main army didn't do so bad. And, uh... Gunther's army kind of took a fat hit, too. Army replenishment by 7% would be kind of nice. I think we might do that. Okay. So, we might want to finish off Boxtrog while we've got the chance to. Grog was finally killed in battle. Thank God. Helmet Gors has got armor piercing weapon damage plus 45 if we equip him with the Biting Blade. This, uh, this little, is that like a, a brooch or something? Like a badge? That could give us the other Trickster Shard, which will give us a 20% spell oh minus 20 percent spell resistance uh we can cast that on or i guess that will be enemies within his range Ooh, that's kind of huge the book of ash ashore asher jesus guys i'm sorry i can't read we might we might equip attila with that maybe and raise dead cost for helmet gore says minus another seven percent here, recruitment cost for Banshees is minus another 12% for Gunther. Or, I think, I think. I feel like there's stuff I'm not quite understanding. But, Master I'm thinking that we just need to finish off Boxtrog now while we still can. Let's see. Do we have, first of all, I don't think he has any heroes. Oh, he does. He still has Elgar. We can't assassinate him, though. Tilla, I don't think she can recruit anything else because we've already recruited. Yeah, we might as well. Can we get them within range to, to fight? Night march. You will be punished. Now. Say, it doesn't look like he'll be in range if we don't move him here. Yep, let's get Voxtrog out of here. I'm gonna just skip this one. It's it's four units. 
that wouldn't have been an entertaining fight to watch. The box trog is now deceased. Okay, so we got a new staff, physical resistance 5%, and the staff of damnation gives uh it's a spell that provides melee attack 40. Damn, that's kind of huge. That is better. I think that's better than our dance macabre. So let's see. We've got some skill points to start throwing around. I thirst. Tilabrishmir? Keep looking at the hunger. That's a passive ability. What's that do? Replenishes hit points of combatants. Leadership is higher than broken in melee. Okay. That's passive. That's something that we just do not have to mess with. Aura of Supremacy. That will lead into buffs for zombies. Okay. Call of the Night. Okay, that's for Vargais and the Bats. I think we're going to go Invocation because then we can start getting like Enfeebling Foe and everything. That'll be super useful. All right, Helmin the man. Forbidden scripture, research rate plus 10, raise dead cost mi uh, minus 15. We're not really having a problem with our our costs at all. Leadership aura size plus 25% could be kind of nice. Dark pack, brave ward, missile resistance 10%. Now is that for my boys or is that just for me? Can't really, I, I'm not really sure. So we can upgrade Dance Macabre, which will reduce the cooldown, and let's see. Winds of Magic cost minus one. Okay. So it'll it'll lower the cost, and that's kind of a problem we've been running into is, is how much our spells are costing. Dance in the or gaze in the gosh, we definitely gotta take that. Okay, let's uh let's let's max out those spells there. Okay, Gunther. Hunger passive. And let's give him the uh I wonder if these stack. So if Gunther has unliving hope, well, I guess it, it would only it might only matter for their armies. So we should probably get that just to guarantee that everybody's army is buffed up as much as possible. And just a sec here. Unfortunately, Nicola is probably not ever going to see an actual battle, so let us give her damage walls for when we start actually like laying siege on people's towns there. That's a pretty, pretty useful skill I've learned. And I think that is everybody that has skills to spend. Ooh, fucking chance still hanging out there. Okay. I don't see any of their lords at all. So we might be able to get onto Nobly Gorge here and take it back. They're definitely going to summon another another Lord there. And they've got seven garrisoned units. None of them look... Dude, what the hell are those? I wish I knew what those were. Looks like some Plague Bears. Maybe... Is that a Beast of Nurgle? I think. All right. Well, right now... We need to muster our forces back up. Ray's dead. Let's get, uh... Let's just split this between the armies here. Two on them. And then what do we have for actual Ray's dead? One will recruit on him. And we will recruit one on him. And I think for the most part, that's a, uh, that's our turn. It was a pretty fat turn. We did, we did well. All right. See Chant rolling up in here like he owns a place. Like we didn't just beat back all of his generals. What the fuck is that? Oedipus is back. Okay. And Jurgen. These beast men. I'm a little worried about those guys. Those guys are generally really tough. You know, we'll fuck, we'll smack them around too. I don't know who they think they are. Has been issued, mighty lord. A great adventure beckons. Be wary, though. Go ahead and catch up. Go ahead and catch up, game. The wards are great. So too are the perils. 
Uh, I wish I had an idea of what those enemy forces were. Helmut Gors is on the hunt. The necromancer is desperate to reunite all the pages of the Liber Noctis, a book that contains even more powerful enchantments than those written in its sister tome, the Liber Necronomica. Alas, the Cult of Sigmar have caught wind of Gors' search and seek to thwart his efforts. Tracking the pages to a site where centuries ago, a Lamian cult placed them in a sealed casket and cast them into a deep gorge to keep them out of Nagash's necrotic hands. Follow their lead. Helmut arrives to see... Oh, following their lead, Helmut arrives to see them already excavating the site. The necromancer prepares an ambush to re relieve the Sigma rites of the pages as soon as they have been found. Ooh, the Jagged Horn Tribe have been defeated. They are out of the game. Unfortunately, I don't really... I mean, uh, I would like to do that, but I've kind of got some, like, tough guys rolling up on me right now. I'm a little worried about keeping keeping away from us. So, Adipus, level 20. Is he a lord or is he a hero? He's a hero. So is Chant. So, let's see if we can get... No, I don't need to increase mobility. I need to... Try to assassinate this dude here. Can't hit him. Can't get to him. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong guy. My bad. Okay. And we successfully wounded Chant. Good deal. Now, can we wound Oedipus? That's right. That's right. We had one of our Banshees hurt. So she's not going to be back for a little while. How tough is this beast man army? I'm wondering. Oh, that's not the that's not the beast men. That that's uh that's the empire. Okay. So what happened to the beast men? Where are they at? All right. No matter. Yes, my. Let son. us recruit some more units here. She will be full after the turn. I am ready. His units are about Let replenished. Others. And do we have any raise the dead? What do you want? We actually do. Just enough. Those are gonna be some weak units though, unfortunately. Kinda feel like I I should wait a turn on them, but I want to get cracking. What the fuck is Adipus gonna do? What are his skills? I gotta check those out. Because right now, I, I feel like he's probably just hanging out in my province and spreading Nurgle corruption. Which, I mean, uh, it sucks. It could be worse, but I mean. Ooh, got population surplus. All right. So do we want a recruiting surplus? Recruitment cost minus 25%. Nah, let's go with the leadership. Thunder guts have been destroyed. Scourge of Cain, the lure of the Dark Prince is potent in these. Scourge of Cain have forsaken their independence and are now enslaved to the will of Slanesh. Suckers, they're going to be having weird P. Diddy parties and shit now. Okay. No chance in hell that we're going to be able to assassinate that thing. So what are his abilities? Assault garrison, assassinate heroes, and assault units of my army. Replenish troops. Damn, 17%? Okay. You know what? Maybe that's what I need to get into my zombie armies. That actually might be a really, really hot idea. I don't think I have things that can do that. He's got... Okay, necromancers have replenished troops. I need to start dumping points into those. Do I have any necromancers? I do not have any with these guys. I might... Mm, Oh shit! Okay, I might be I might be kicking some dudes out here. Let's hire some necromancers, shall we? He's got aggressive weapon strength plus. Uh, he doesn't really use weapons. Your wish. Let's go a little bit of that magic, shall we? Who shall and we, we are going to Helmet. put him into. Uh, let's let's. Drop his weak zombies real quick. Are you ready? Okay. We're gonna use Gorst. 
we're going to give him a unit of our zombies here. We are going to get this necromancer in with old Gorse here. Very good. Darkness calls. And let's see. Let's see. What other armies do we have? Attila. Attila could probably also use a necromancer. I wonder if we have the capacity to recruit another one. We do. Give her the confident necromancer. And Undeath Attila, we're gonna kick. We're gonna kick. Uh, we're gonna kick these guys out. Expand Sylvania's borders. Your wish, master. And you are going to get this guy here. Necropolis awaits. We got, we got like hella, we got hella vampires and zombies now. We just have to make a move. Man of the, uh, let's see here. Your wish, master. Wagner. Let's get his replenished troops up. That's why we got him in the first place. We've got a building upgrade, finally. That costs 14,000 bucks. It's going to give us 400 a turn, plus 1,000 defensive supplies, plus 50 growth, plus 2 vampiric corruption, and grants 7 construction slots in the settlement. Who shall we destroy? Alright, we've got Wilhelm Van Vanal. I hired him for the same reason. I would really like our other Banshee to show back up here. I wonder if Adipus himself... Well, no, because he's a hero. He's not a lord, so he can't summon an army just right here. I don't know how Nurgle's army works. I've never played as Nurgle, surprisingly. Uh, because Nurgle has always been one of my... One of my, like, favorite parts of Warhammer. But let's, uh... Let's get the gang going, shall we? This night. Let's get uh let's get Wagner join up with Hellman. Necropolis awaits. Master. Of let's get Wilhelm into Otilla's army there. Find me. Child. I think I put him in with Gunther actually by accident. That's all right though. And I guess we will just uh recruit this guy here. Let's try to get one more assassination attempt off. 59%. That's not bad. The assassination was a failure, though. That's rough. That's rough for everybody. Knows no We're going to take a little attrition coming out here. Merciless. But we are going to take back Nobly Gorge. Move. We come from all buildings minus five. We can suffer that. We can suffer that for a turn. And then let's get, uh, let's get Otilla. Yes, my son. Let's get, oh, she's mustering uh, another guy, so I can't garrison her for now. I think we're solid. Okay. I wonder what Adipus is doing there. Like the AI is acting a little funky. I wonder what they're. I wonder what he's trying to do there. He hasn't really tried to attack my settlement walls or anything. At least I don't believe. All right, your banshee, Emmeline Helstein, has returned. This this might be the score right there. Get that assassination off, girl. You got this. All right, our banshee has successfully wounded Oedipus. Nice. Now we're starting to push him back. Now we're really actually starting to gain some ground here. Tilla, we're going to garrison her. We'll get Hildebrand to start building up his own army. And? Fucking get this. Let's get this show on the road. I tire of you. What do you mean? A thousand times no. Why are you not? Why, why are you not willing to move? What? Strike out. 
you're you're gonna crash out, bro. Okay. Made. Thinking. Should we do the siege battle? Like, should we control this shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna we're gonna do that. We could encircle them and wait them out, but I mean, we will also be suffering attrition damage, so that's just not a good idea. Let's just wipe these guys the fuck out of here. Get Nobly Gorge back. All right. All right. They don't have shit. Oh, look at all the, look at all, look at all the boys. Look at all the boys. They're fucking ready to go. Look at them all. All right, we're just going, we're going straight into them. We don't care. We're going straight into them. So are they going to, are they going to come up on us? Nope, they're going to make us move. They're scared. Ah, uh, so they got these Nurglings. Those Plague Bears are going to take out a few guys. They're always pretty tough, it seems. And then we have a whole ass other army rolling in here in 40 seconds. We might as well get it cracking. I don't have a whole lot in the magic bank, unfortunately. Shit, by the time we get to him, our, our other team here is going to arrive. That music. Oh, it sounds so tough. Look, that just sounds like doom. Like a triumphant doom. They, they are just not going to move. They are going to wait for us. So I better start fucking figuring out what you're going to do, though. Reinforcements already got here. Then AI, I believe, is controlling that army. Killer beans. Okay. Ooh, the fucking storm off in the distance. Oh my god, look at it. It's gorgeous. I fucking love Warhammer so much. Yeah, they just like hardly even know what to do with themselves. Let's take a, let's take a gang of these guys. Let's split them. Um, Actually, no, you know what? Nope. Do not deviate from the plan. We've got a whole other crew coming in. The power is all right, Gorst. Or not invocation in the heck. What am I doing? Dance macabre, baby. Dance macabre, baby. These guys are about to come up on us. Oh. Oh. Finally got these guys over here moving. This is not gonna. Ooh, uh oh, uh oh. That's a that's kind of a gang of that's kind of a gang of of soldiers over there, and our our allies are taking their sweet ass time. Like why why are they going over that way? Like we need you guys over this way. Like I don't know what you're trying to do here. What kind of like sneaky cool tactics you're trying to pull? But that shit is not <laughs> looking like it's gonna work out for us. I guess silver lining is uh, we're not going to lose so many of those guys over there. Hopefully, what's up with this group here? Oh, that's our that's our necromancer. Um, so we're going to invocation them to heck those guys, and then we're going to dance macabre these guys here. Oh, I didn't even see these guys down here. That's all right, though. Dude, if you guys go up there, I swear to God. Why? Why would you do that? You're zombies. You're not missile units. You're not going to help at all. Okay, the AI is... The AI is fucking stupid. That's all right, though. We can we can lose some guys. It just might take us an extra turn or two to, to get them back. Gorst. What are you doing, buddy? Oh! 
let's get up on uh, let's get up on some of these plague toads. I feel like they're probably an issue. Attack! Are these nerglings over here? Yeah, not too worried about those guys. These plague bearers, always always a pain. What, what have we ha what have we got back here? Some more plague bearers. Okay. You guys, uh, you guys remember that time that we called for reinforcements and then they actually didn't show up? They were too busy having a picnic. Really nice of you guys to finally decide that you want to help the team out here. We're all on the same side. We're, we, we've got the same goals. All right. Ooh, those fucking plague toads look cool. So it looks like things are going pretty damn smooth for us though we're not really losing a whole lot of units in any of our any of our regiments there all right yeah not sad at all not sad at all uh-oh uh-oh they're, they're being swarmed Throw a fucking little mech on those guys. We'll throw a little, uh, we'll throw a little dance macabre too, just to keep them, keep them alive and keep them doing damage. We're just smacking those little nerglings around. I'm rooting for that guy right there. That's that guy right there. We can't lose him. I think he's gonna I think he's gonna make it. He's he's going toe to toe with that that ogre. Uh no, he's still standing. He's still standing right there. Everybody root for this guy right here. Oh, oh, he's taking hits. He's taking some hits. Oh, but he's dishing them back out. Get him, boys. Oh no. This guy came out of nowhere. Sucker punched him. Oh, then everybody else shows up. All right, now it's definitely game over for these guys. They ain't doing shit. About got these uh these plague bears out of here. Sunrise. Oh. I mean, even though their their numbers are pretty low, it looks like they still got quite a few units. Oh, they just got overwhelmed. They were all on their last leg. All right, you guys know what to do. Kill them. Guess, uh, guess that was that for you guys. All right, so uh, we only lost 78 guys in total, which is kind of insane. We didn't lose anybody. And they lost 500. And just like that, gang, we are now looking about two inches taller. Which doesn't sound like a whole lot, but I'm 5'7", so that means a world of difference. We beat the fucking brakes off them. We got our Nobly Gorge back, which is huge. Um, unfortunately, we're gonna have we're gonna suffer some instability here, especially with Nurgle's corruption going on. Uh, what we really need to do is get our vampiric corruption to start taking over because otherwise like we're just not going to be able to hold on to this city for long at all thankfully oh no fuck he's spreading he's spreading to flayed rock and pig barter okay we got we got gold tooth we got gold tooth up here still hanging in but uh that's that's looking that's looking bleak for like this whole area damn he got Nurgle got ruins end too. That's crazy. Okay, so Nurgle is spreading still. We kinda we kinda halted him coming this way. We're gonna start moving west. We're gonna start moving west. We gotta get scrap towers. Not only just for Haunt the City mission, but also because we just need to start rooting out Nurgle corruption. Uh looks like What is uh what is this province made of? Oh, I didn't, I didn't really, wait, is, is, Nobly Gorge is not part of Haunted, Haunted Forest is its own province, I'm pretty sure. 
No, it's not. I didn't really. Is Nobly Gorge part of of Haunted Forest? Either either way, we really need to start attacking attacking his other cities here. And oh my God, that's a that's kind of a fat garrison. These are all kind of like decent sized garrisons here, um, which really sucks because as soon as he spawns a lord. He's pulling some he's pulling some guys from this garrison and sending them at us. But what we need to do is we need to get some more vampiric corruption. That way we can really start we can really start reducing the Nurgle corruption so we're not suffering attrition trying to move west. And so he starts suffering attrition trying to move east. It's gonna be a while before we actually do Oh man. Yeah, that Nurgle corruption got pretty high pretty quick. Oh boy. Alright. We've got <laughs> we've got an obli gorge though that's something, and honestly like we've got three full size armies locked up here. We're working on our fourth one. We've got two badass kung fu banshees that are like just like karate chopping other heroes down. So I mean we're not doing too bad there. They're I mean they don't they don't get the assassination off every time, but they have been keeping their heroes away from us and also reducing the power of their armies because they're able to assassinate the heroes in those armies. Let's see what. Um, let's see what Hildebrand has to say. All right, he's still working on getting some zombies together. And, I mean, shit, we might as well just fill him up. It's five turns before he will have a full army, which is okay. So let's start sending the Banshees out again. See if we maybe, like, discover some hidden armies or anything. Oh, actually... I might want to I might want to have her hang out in here just to see if she can see if she can find any ambushes or hidden armies but at the same time also help with the control here. This control here is at 0. This shit's going to get pretty bad pretty soon. Cost 4 turns for that. That will give us no control at all and we are kind of starting to starting to get low on money. So we're going to need to uh, increase our income there. I mean, we're not like low on money necessarily, but we were we were rolling like mid thirty thousands, like low forty thousands, and now we're down to twenty eight. This was kind of an expensive war just to get an Obli Gorge back. But so who owns Shambletown? Ooh, he's got thirteen garrison units there. Unfortunately, Gunther is going to suffer attrition if we keep him in this area. So let's get him moving back. Helmengorst, Helmengorst, what do we what? do with you? We're gonna get you starting to move back as well. They shall despair. Ready. We're gonna assign those skill points. I am ready. All right, Helmengorst, what? Uh, let's see here. Guess we're gonna. What's Restless Dead give us? Some more campaign range movement. That's. Kind of, that's kind of heavy. Dead rise again. Plus five hit points for destroyed units. Destroy or restored after battle. Plus, uh, plus two percent casualty replenishment is kind of tight. Honestly, just this this campaign movement in general is is awesome. And unfortunately, nothing's really going to buff our zombies again, except for unliving host. Let's get restless dead. We'll start working on that tree a little bit. And Wagner von Zeriden. He is our necromancer. We cannot get replenished troops right now. Salt units and specialists would be nice. But we are rolling with him in the group. He's a fighter. He's like on the field with everybody else. Gunter Morfin. All right, Gunter. Which guy is Gunter? He's a vampire lord. So let's give him... Uh... Yes, Curse of Undeath. Okay. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna start building into that. And Wilhelm Banal. He is a necromancer as well. And since we can't put anything to in, in to replenish troops, let's give him invocation as well. I think that is pretty much everybody. We are going to end this turn. There it is. I knew it that 
I knew it that it was only a matter of time before another one of those came out. All right. So yeah, they are. Oh, plus we've got Shambletown to the north though. And I can, I can, I can see a, a Lord coming from there pretty damn quick. So I'm thinking that we need to get our units back into home. We're going to get this guy's army built up. Uh, Hildebrand. I'm trying to decide if we need to push north into Shambletown just because of their proximity to Nobly Gorge. The Scrap Tower is, is kind of far from... is very far from Nobly Gorge and kind of far from Haunted Forest. Maybe about equidistant. Shambletown looks a little bit closer, though. And it looks like Nurgle is pushing into Grimtop and he's just got... He's got so many reserve soldiers at each of these places. Like it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fight with this fucking group right here. Like look at that. That's an even bigger group than we've been fighting. So we are gonna have to assassinate these two guys right here. Wait, wait is Cultus Cultus of Nurgle aren't Coke? Okay, he's he's definitely a hero. And Kugath is back. I knew he would be. They will they will definitely spawn another lord. I'm going to assume in Shambletown, maybe Grimtop. And they're going to try to hit us on both on both ends. Ooh, they've got some Okay, they've got they've got two groups of plague bearers. Three five groups of plague bearers. They've got three groups of plague ogres. Damn, a great unclean one even, dude. They've got a great unclean one. The toads are not so much of a hassle. Warhounds not so much of a hassle. The furies are kind of a wild card. I don't really know how they do against our zombies. Hmm. But yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely coming for us. He's coming to get revenge. So we need to plan though. After this, do we want to go after Scrap Towers? There's no way that we're actually going to be able to hold Scrap Towers just because he's got Blade Rock, Pig Barter, and Shattered Stone Bay. Oh, fucking Puss Wind. Puss Wind's got a little army coming, coming here too. We'll fuck, we'll knock him around. I'm not, I'm not too worried about that army. I am worried about those two armies coming together though but yeah so we've got to make a decision um do we want to go for scrap tower or do we want to push into the mountains here looks like gold tooth is still hanging on that gold tooth up there too okay who's this valley of horns who is that grim gores okay so we got some green skins up there you know what actually as, as long as gold tooth is up here I feel like that's kind of a decent size. He, he's formidable. Goldtooth is formidable. Those ogres are kind of tough. I'm. Uh, Scrap towers. Scrap towers is definitely where we're gonna need to go. It just, it's really rough because I'm pretty sure that that is this all the the same province here. Nobbler County is the this start of the mountains here, plus this down here. Plus, I'm pretty sure it's it extends to Nobly Gorge, I'd assume, just by the name. Hmm. Hmm. Got some blood kisses, though. So let's actually peep that real quick. We've got six. Get uh, extra research rate and winds of mauer or winds of magic power capacity uh, plus fifteen. We can get diplomatic relations with the Empire Kids Love Cafe and Bretonia and character experience gain plus 20%. So that'll ramp up. That could ramp up our characters uh, levels pretty quick. We're not really doing any ambushes, unfortunately. And we don't, we're not going to touch Crip Ghouls. We're not going to touch Sylvanian Crossbowmen or any of those humans. And all of those units are pretty much off limits to us. So it's 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 between it's between the Lamian the Lamian and the uh, Necrarch line. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going Necrarch. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. That was disgusting. <laughs> okay. 
So with that said, I think that our next conquest is going to be Scrap Towers. Kugoth is going to come at us. So is Puss Wind down here. So I'm thinking that we fucking take those guys out. Oh. The attrition, the attrition is, is so hard on us though. What is, what is this place? The charnel pit. That gives us some growth. So in three turns, we will get uh, population surplus and we will be able to put another building down. In three turns, this will be upgraded. So we'll be able, yeah, we'll be able to definitely get another settle, uh, another thing down. I'm thinking maybe a vampiric brazier or whatever those are just to start spreading uh, vampiric growth or vampiric corruption, I mean. That seems like the idea. Uh... I think we are going to roll with that. So let's get him back home. Just so he's not suffering attrition. He can get his forces back up. Because shit's about to pop off when Kugath gets here. And this increases... Him being in this province also increases our, uh, our income a little bit. No. This guy's mustering up another army. So by the time this guy gets here, we'll have these two full armies... Plus, this guy will be about, I don't know, he'll be about halfway through getting his full army. Might as well send the Banshees out to start start uh, assassinating these guys. That guy looks scarier than this guy. So 67% for both of them. And it looks like we successfully wounded the one guy. Emmeline is not going to be able to make it there in this turn, I don't believe. Oh, she won't even really have a much of a chance. What can she do to this crew here? She can block Puss Wind. 17% chance. It's not very high, but uh, it's something. And we've got some skill points to give to Nicola. Pretty much uh, got all the things that we really want from her. Stimulate growth would be kind of nice. Uh, let's keep let's keep rolling uh, on those damaged walls though, on those damaged walls. We're gonna end this turn. Kugath, fucking came halfway across the world after us. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Who is that? Is that Kugath? Yeah, that's Kugath. And then Puswin. Did Puswin go up here? Motherfucking wild hunt begins now, baby. All right. Orion, king of the woods and master of the wild hunt is reborn anew. On the eve of the vernal equinox, the elite wild riders select a candidate to bear the mantle of the immortal elven king for the year ahead. Now that Queen Ariel has done her secret work, Orion storms... Er, Orion. Onion. <laughs> storms back into the world once more. As ever, he immediately calls a wild hunt to clear the forest of undesirable outsiders. The herald of the hunt sounds the horn, signaling the elves and forest spirits to fight in Aethel Loren's defense. A primal urge to expel the forest enemies that none can ignore. Orion will now behave more aggressively towards his neighbors. I don't know if we're a neighbor to him, but we got a new technology, Enshrine Ancient Lords, which gives us plus 10% chance for destroyed units to be restored after battle, minus 30% cat attrition, uh, so that is actually going to be very helpful for what we're trying to pull off right now. And raise dead cost minus 5%. Hell yeah. Rock and roll. We got be the best recruitment cost plus 25%. But our recruitment rank is a plus 2. Which is actually huge. Especially since we are like currently recruiting a new army. We will choose our next technology. No, no, no. So it looks like we are over on... I, I was going to say, I don't think this will do anything for us at all. No. I'm pretty sure we've got all of this uh, Stroy Legacy. No. Soulbinder, no. None of these will affect our zombie units at all. Which is a damn shame. So this is the tree that we're going to start working on. Yeah. Yep. 
and come from repression buildings. Let's get some more. Let's get some more dark magic coming in. And there, guys, we are going to end this episode. Um, we have a game plan. We're gonna have to fend off Kugoth. We're going to keep assass trying to assassinate uh their uh their heroes just to look weaken their army. He's already he's already missing a very strong unit, so that's that's very beneficial for us. Maybe we can assassinate Arndt before the the fight actually starts here. But we're gonna want to hug these two units together. It looks like they're already close enough to where one goes into battle, the other goes into battle. Um Yeah. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna beat the we're gonna we're gonna get Nurgle out of here. It's it's been it's been going on too long. He keeps summoning chant back. We don't like chant. Kugath keeps coming back and picking picking fights with us. We're not into that either. We finally got a foothold in Nobly Gorge, and it's about to it's about to upgrade. We're gonna be able to get our braziers. Start driving back this Nurgle corruption. Yeah, things are things are starting to look very good for us. I'm really glad that we decided to get like fucking a total of four armies going here. We might actually pull Attila to try to get into this fight too. I mean, right now she's just garrisoned. She's not doing anything. She's just chilling. Uh, so we're going to have these at least three armies pushing westward. Yeah. So I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, God bless you. Emperor protects. I will see you guys then. Have a great have a great week. I'm awkward at doing outros. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Bye. <laughs>